We're just going to kind of recess him back in here. Slightly spray and kind of a fog pattern around your edges. I will go back in and overlap both of them. I realize it's a little hard to see all the detail I have on these skulls here. I got about 10 minutes on the one behind me. But you got to remember, a stencil is a stencil. The only thing you're using it for is to get your outline. As artists, we all know that you can go back in and detail and spend, you know, you can spend an hour or two hours on this skull and just really trick it out. I'm just showing you the basics right now. I'm only using black and white on the skulls that I'm airbrushing on this. And the reason I'm doing that is because I'm going to take my underlayment base, the silver base that I've already reduced, and I'm going to take the, uh, the same mixture I have and I'm going to reduce it even more to get it really transparent. And the reason I'm going to do that is I'm going to spray it back over the entire base over all these skulls when I'm done. And what that's going to do is I'm going to spray my candy tangerine on top of that and it's going to give it a real neat effect, almost like a ghost effect. The, the skull, see how dominant they are right now? I, that's not the effect I'm going for. I want it to, you can still see them, but not real definite. To help you understand a little bit more about what we just did here, I'm going to go step by step. You take your stencil pattern, and you lay it down, spray your black through it, which will create all your edges. I'm going to take it back off. Now all that is a guideline. Then we're going to go back in with white and highlight all the areas, and then we'll fine detail it out back with a black. If you look at my face right now, the light's coming from this side, and this part's lit up. The other side is the darker side, so this is going to be what you call the light source. That's the same thing we're going to do on our skulls here. I'm coming from the top down. If you notice the top of the, top of the horns, the top of the skull, like the forehead, are the light spots. That's where your light source is coming from. You can create light source on any direction of these skulls. Wherever, it, like when it rolls over the sides here, the light source is going to be in a different direction. Just remember which direction it's coming in from and which side is the darker side. Finish and touch. Let's go put a coat of clear on this. I'm not going to show you the entire process here, but when we're all finished, we'll take it outside and show you the finished product. For more information on all these stencils and paint products that I've been using in this video, check out customshop.com. Also check out this kick-ass rhino I'm setting in. Go to whitenuckleatv.com.
something right here, dude. Look at that big gray hair right there. Look at that. Check us out at fullblowncustoms.com. Custom spell with a K. And see more in depth. <laughs> see, I'm thinking now. Check us out at fullblowncustoms.com. Custom spell with a K. And see. Check us out at fullblowncustoms.com. Check us out at fullblowncustoms.com. Custom spell with a K. And see a lot more of the video. What I'm thinking now. I'm, try I'm trying to go into a whole bunch more thing. I'm way off track of stuff. Check us out at fullblowncustoms.com. Custom spell with a K. And you can check out, you can check, 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 check one, two. Check us out at fullblowncustoms.com. Custom spell with a K. You can see a variety of stencils like the ones that we just used on this here behind what we're saying over. Check out customshop.com for more stencils like the ones that we just used behind us. They have a variety of stencils, airbrush tools, anything you could possibly need for airbrushing. I like how you do all serious at the end. Like, I can tell you want to say something else. I, I was going and I seen you move and it's like, what did I do? Check out, check out custom, <coughs> sorry about that. Check out customshop.com for more stencils like the ones we just used behind us. They have a variety of stencils. Did I say variety or variety? Check out customshop.com for more stencils like the ones we just used behind us. They have a variety. <laughs> check. <laughs> check. Check out customshop.com for more stencils like the ones we just used behind us. They have a variety. How come I can't say variety now? Can you say that word? Check out customshop.com. <laughs> Check out customshop.com for why am I stuck on a word, Tyson? Check out customshop.com for a variety of a variety. What's the other word? In the there we go. Here we go. Check out customshop.com. Check out customshop.com for a whole bunch of stencils. Go to customshop.com. You can purchase these stencils and all the paints that we've been using in this tutorial. That wasn't bad.